Wednesday around 1 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to pull up the video on my computer and see who's hopping on. And uh, yeah, every week I do live streams troubleshooting new ideas and designs for wire art and wire jewelry. So today we are going to be, well, I announced we're going to be making a jewelry out of guitar strings. My friend Caleb Taylor, who's an amazing guitar player and singer songwriter, uh, he gave me some guitar strings, but I boiled them and they've gone a little bit rusty. So we're going to see what we can do. Hi, Mustafa, you're the first one on. And VJ, hello, hello. So I have all these guitar strings and um, some of them went like really, really rusty when I, when I um, boiled them. So maybe I boiled them too long. Maybe I didn't dry them. I'm not sure what happened, but I'm going to see if I can recoup some of them for the live stream. So hi Ralph from Sweden, hi Lauren, hi Clarice, hi Danny, and awesome. So let me just, um, I'm going to flip my screen. I'm going to see if I can untangle some of these wires. Actually, I wanted to show you guys uh, the other things I was working on this week. Diane in the Wire and Jewelry Makers Club, or we call it the Wire Makers Club, right? I forgot we shortened the name a while ago. Hi Sabrina. So I wanted to show you, these are like the fake, sort of fake, um, barbed wire things that I made. Uh, that was a special request from Diane in the Wire Makers Club. Hi, Mary and uh, Thandanka. Hello, hello, and Annika. Hi, Annika, how are you? I haven't seen you on the live in a long time. Nice to see you, Wendy. It's been a long, long time. Wow, so fun. That's awesome. So, um, and Jalisa is from Holland. I've been to Holland. I've been to Amsterdam a few times. Oh yeah, I bet it's wet in Florida. Hi, Jean. So here's a bar fake barbed wire ring. That's from this week's uh, videos. And then this is how the barbed wire looks. It's basically made with aluminum. And so I, Peggy had a wonderful idea to put little uh, fairy lights around the barb, the fake barbed wire. So I'm going to attach two pieces together and put fairy lights. And I'll put a, up a quick little tutorial about that because that would make really great home decor and wedding decor and all that type of thing for rustic weddings. From uh, Mary's from Kentucky. Oh, and Lauren's from Ireland. I've never been to Ireland. That's so cool. I'd love to go. Yeah, it's fun eh? with the with the barbed wire and Peggy had such a brilliant idea to do the fairy lights. So I do have some fairy lights somewhere. I'll dig them out and I'll do a little um, just a quick little tutorial on how to because it's very hard to make these like a super long length. So if you make about 20 inches at a time, you can piece them together and make like cool home decor. So that's a comment. Irish charm. Fun. I just found square beads. Cool. So I'm going to flip this. Yeah, tropical storm. We've heard about that. Let's hope it doesn't come up here. Although some parts of Canada can use some relief. It wouldn't be too bad if uh, it went out to Western Canada. So here is all these guitar strings. I really should have sorted these out before the live stream because now I feel bad. I've got this huge pile of guitar strings. I don't know even if I could recoup any because like I said, I boiled them and they went a little bit weird and rusty. So I'm going to see if I can recoup some of this. I won't be doing as much guitar stuff as I thought, but I had a couple of other ideas. I wanted to make like a little charm bracelet with little mini guitar picks. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. Hi, Paula. And uh, let's just kind of untangle these. Um, I really, like I said, I should have untangled these before. Uh, what I might just do is just give them a little cut and then go from there. So let me un let me untangle some of these. Uh, like I said, these are from my friend Caleb. Uh, sometimes I use Caleb's music on my art videos. Uh, he let me use some of his music uh, as a background in my art videos. So um, I'll link up his uh, all his information below. He's a local uh, singer songwriter. He's actually from the UK, but he lives in Montreal now. So here we go. We're going to just untangle these and see what I can do with these. And I was thinking to make a little a charm bracelet with these and um, luckily I've had my tetanus shop because sometimes these can be a little bit rusty so let me just cut this I'm gonna cut that whoop that's not the cutter let me find my cutter here we go and we're gonna do that here and what I'm gonna try to do is just clean it up with this cloth this is one of those red polishing cloths for um, jewelry and I thought maybe this is gonna work for cleaning so basically the red side has a bit of a chemical in it and then when you use the yellow side 
it polishes it up. So it's very handy for wire um, jewelry. Sorry if this people are irritated by the squeaky sound, but that's what I have to do. So it's still a little bit rusty, but you know what? I'm just gonna go with it because otherwise I won't. I'm not gonna have anything to work with today. And then we have these larger screen strings. So let's go ahead and get some of these larger strings. I'll try to get one, maybe one of these that's not in such bad shape. These are more like a brass type of um, of color. So let's just pull out one of these ones. And I don't, if anybody knows about guitars, they'll know which string it is. But offhand, I don't know which one this is. So let's just get this, this one here. And then we'll see what we can do. You like the sound. Oh, that's interesting. So it's like, a, it's, I guess it's more of a musical sound. It's not really like a nails on the blackboard kind of sound. So that's good to know. Yeah, it's, uh, that makes sense. I mean, it's from a musical instrument, right? So let me just clip this one also because they're super tangled up yeah i really should have done something about this before before the live stream but you guys know me i'm very improvised in last minute so let's go ahead and clean this one up let's see if this one makes a different sound okay a lot of pixels in screen sweetheart yes that's probably because i'm filming on my ipod let me just see i don't know if i could do the autofocus when you're filming, like, yeah, I can't do it on a live stream for some reason. Usually you can autofocus, but on my iPod, uh, the quality, unfortunately, is not very good. And that is definitely something that I have to fix. But uh, again, I have so many projects that I haven't got around to fixing the quality of the live stream. So that's going to be something that I'll have to do, too, because you can stream on other platforms. So here are these two sizes of guitar string. Now the other thing, I have two things I want to try. One is to make some little guitar picks out of metal. I thought would be interesting. So I have like this type of metal. I thought it would be fun to do that. And after that, I'm going to try to make some out of plastic. So those are my two ideas that I want to try today. Whether they work or not is uh, completely... Um, I have no idea. So what I'm going to do first is, hi, Ashita. And I'm going to take a piece of paper. Okay, we'll just take a little piece of paper. And I am going to, I'm going to lift this, my camera up a little bit so you can see a little bit more of my screen so it's not so close up. And that's good. Let me get a pencil. And I am going to trace out a guitar pick and see if I can make one. I have two ideas. One is to make the a guitar pick out of metal for, to make mini charms, like a mini charm bracelet with guitar picks. And the other one is to make it out of plastic and shrink it. So like a shrink plastic. Hey, John, how are you? And so now I am going to just draw, because with the plastic, if you guys know shrink plastic, it, it literally shrinks, right? So what I'm going to do is I'll draw out a I'll draw out a pick. I don't know how big it has to be. So I'm going to just draw it out. Maybe something like this. I don't think it's going to shrink much more than that. So we're going to try that. We'll draw that out. I'm going to cut it. Now, if I cut it first out like this, and we're going to cut it around, and then I'm going to want to make sure it's like centered, right? So we're just going to first cut the initial shape. I could have got like graph paper and drawn it out properly and stuff, but I'm just gonna do it this way. So, hi, Haritha. And then we're going to bend this in half. So we're just gonna bend this one right in half. Okay, so it's more or less centered. Okay, you can kind of like rotate it a bit so it's more or less centered. And then to make sure it's symmetrical, we'll just trim off the extra little bit. So. That's just like a, and if these work, I'll put together a little template and put them, uh, you guys can download it. So this is the idea for like a little guitar pick. Maybe it's a little wide at the top. I could always like fix it up a little bit. Let's just fix it up a little bit. Okay, and oh, that's not wanting to cut very well. So we're just gonna cut, cut that around there a little bit. And then the idea would be, uh, 
Peggy. And yeah, so sometimes Peggy comes a little late. Amber is coming. She's just going to be a little bit late. So she's definitely on her way. And uh, yeah, usually Amber's one of the first ones on. And I'm happy you made it today, uh, Mustafa, because I know sometimes um, you're, you've been having trouble making it on the right day. So that's great that you're here. So now here's our template for the guitar pick. And if we just put it onto here, you could trace it or you can just go ahead and cut it out. So we're just gonna go around here and then around here. I don't know if I should do too many. Maybe I'll just do one because I really don't know if it's gonna work at all. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna cut it around and see if we can do a shrinky pick. So here's the pick shape, okay? Sort of good, it's not great, but it's all right. So there's the pick shape. And then we're going to get a hole punch. This is from, um, this is from the, what's the name of that company again that I did metal stamping with? Uh, Bijucation. So they sent me a kit a while back and this was one of the things in their kit for metal stamping. So now you wanna center it. Hopefully we're gonna get it more or less centered. Okay. And then we've got our little hole. Hopefully it's big enough. So now I'm gonna put this in the oven. Just bear with me for a second. I'm gonna put it in the oven and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So, so I'm just gonna put it in for literally two minutes because I don't want it to burn. So, uh, Bunim Lakel, hello, hello, and hi, Ginger, how are you? I just made a right with a square bead and I have posted a photo in Discord. Cool, so I'll hop over to Discord after the live stream and see what you guys are working on. I haven't been on Discord for a week, so if you guys have posted, sadly, I haven't seen it. So now this is gonna to be too big to do on the metal, but I'm gonna do it like a little bit smaller on the metal. So what I'll do is I am going to make a smaller one to go on the metal. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just do this. Yes, we're live, Janet. Thanks for hopping on. So now I'm gonna just bring this one here and try to free form a shape of a guitar pick to do on the metal one. So we're just gonna do that around here. And I'm gonna go check my pick to make sure it's not shrinking too much. Is there a link to Discord? Yes, so Mustafa, if you could put the link to Discord after the live stream, I'm gonna go into the into the post live stream section that, and uh, see what you guys are working on. So this isn't quite, maybe I'll do it a little bit bigger than that. So let's just put it on here. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? This one was a good shape, so I'm just gonna do this. And hello, so we're just gonna, yeah, thank you, Mustafa. So, after the live stream, I'll go over to Discord and post pictures of what I've been working on. And also you guys can share pictures of what you're working on. So if you if you make things from the live streams, share the pictures in the post live stream section. And if you make just your own other types of wire art and jewelry, share it in the share your work section. That would be great. So here's the pick. Now let's go ahead and uh, cut this one out again and let's just go ahead and fold this one in half Oh, you know, we're going to cut it out first and then I got oh there goes the timer. Let me go check on the guitar pick Okay Oh gosh, no, that didn't work Oh boy, that's terrible <laughs> It totally melted guys. Okay, I put that in for too long. So I'm gonna try it again and see what happens. You really have to watch it. Okay, two two minutes is way too long. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna redo that one. Oh, it looks almost like a heart though. That's really interesting. I'm not quite sure what it's doing. It's 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 gonna dry. It's gonna cool. Let's see what it does. Wow, that's actually really interesting but it doesn't look like a guitar pick. So this might or might not work. So let me just put that at the side and I will cut another one and we'll just literally put it in for like a few seconds. So that's the joy of live TV folks. You never know how things are gonna turn out. So let's just go ahead and cut this one out and then we'll try it. In fact, maybe I should bring you guys 
in my kitchen to see if it's going to work. So let's bring this one around. Okay, we're gonna bring that one around, trim it, and we'll see if it's gonna work. If you have shrink plastic in a different color, I bet that would work well to make your own guitar pick charms. So yes, the joys of a live stream, 100%. So there we go. Uh, we're going to just poke a little hole in there. So we've got that. Oh, it's totally crooked, but you know what? It doesn't matter. So let me, I'm gonna unplug this for a sec. I'm gonna see if this is going to work. I'm gonna, yeah, I could go this way. So we're gonna bring this into my kitchen and we're going to put it, oh, I should probably put the paper on again. So let me put the parchment paper. Sorry guys, this is very improvised. I'm not, I didn't know I was gonna do it like this. So we're gonna just bring this. We're gonna put that one in there. And just like literally, can we see it? We could sort of see it. We could see it. I can just turn the screen for a second. Okay, good. So we're we're going to see what that does. I'm just going to keep an eye on it, see if it can shrink a little bit, but not too much. And uh, we're going to see how it's going to do. I'm just going to like open and close this for a couple of minutes. But like I said, you can use the same concept and just do it with shrink plastic or if you have another kind of plastic like that, even Fimo. I bet you can make little charms uh, out of Fimo. That would be cool. And you roll them out. Uh, hey, hey, Ada, how are you? Or Ida, okay, whoa, that's too much. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out now, because it's definitely, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna flip the screen. Yeah, so it did shrink, but this is obviously not the proper plastic, because it's not really working well, but that's okay, we live and learn, right? So you guys are always on the ground floor of these live streams. So let's put you back. I'm going to plug it back in, and let's try to make a metal one. Perfect, you hear a bird. Oh, is that at my place? Probably out the, out the balcony. So this is our very like unsuccessful guitar pick, but I might be able to trim it. I'm gonna let it dry and see if I can trim it. So I have researched about shrink plastic and where you can find it. And what I found was that you can use a plastic with a recycling sign six. Oh, now that's good to know. So I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a two, so this is not gonna work because it's a two, but good to know, Mustafa. I am going to write that down so I remember uh, number six, right? This is not gonna work, so we're gonna do, so just so I remember, there's the recycling sign and number six. So I will try to remember to find that, and that's awesome, live and learn. So I was, it's not all to waste. Uh, hot here, but able to watch you. Okay, cool. So here, let's try to cut one out of metal. So here's our template. And where's that other template I put? Here it is. Let's just take this one and cut it smaller. So I'm going to fold that one in half. And solo cups are usually a six. Cool. What is a solo cup? I'm not quite sure what that is, Ginger. Yeah, let me know what a solo cup is. I don't know if that's like a Actually, I don't know what that is at all. So, so you can let me know what that is. So we're gonna cut that one out to get a template for the, there. Yeah, so that's for the pick. It's not the best, but you know what? Maybe I'll just draw it with a Sharpie to be sure. And I can always wipe the Sharpie off. So we're gonna try this. We're just gonna put this one on here and I'm going to trace it around there and try to cut this out of copper. So this is like a copper uh, sheet that originally was from the Beeducation company. They sent me all kinds of stuff to do metal stamping before. So that's like the size of a guitar pick and beer pong. Okay, not sure what that's for, but oh, oh, Beer pong is for the cups, I get you. Okay, so connecting the dots. Uh, never played beer pong, but uh, there's also, remember those cups, those stacking cups that were popular like 10, 15 years ago? Um, maybe that's the same kind of cup as well. Cause I remember uh, Mimi had some of those stacking cups and she got really good at it. That was, they were, she wasn't in a competition or anything, but she just had a lot of fun with them. So now to cut this, let's cut the straight lines first. For the guitar pick and then we're going to go around this circle okay we're going to just go around the curved edges 
Okay, hopefully we're going to cut this relatively straight. So down here, and then we want to cut this, these edges around here. I like the idea of doing a, a um, metal guitar pick. So I don't know if I'm going to do a whole bunch of these, but this will give you an idea of how you can do a charm. I might just do one, and then if it works out, I could do a bunch of them. So there's like the guitar pick, and then what we would have to do is poke the hole, and... Uh, you know what I am going to make your ring design. Aha, okay, so which ring design is that? I'm just gonna get my hammer. So I have my block here. Uh, plastic containers, check number, you can use for shrink here. Cool, nice, yes, yeah, six. That's apparently six is the one, so that's awesome. So there we go, so there's our metal block. And then I have the metal mallet and the rawhide mallet to try to do something with this. Now, it might be sharp, so I wanna be careful with that, and I wanna see if I have a file, which I usually have one near here. I just have to find it. If it's not there, it might be on another one of my, oh, here it is. So here's my file. So what I wanna do now is do you play guitar? I do not play guitar, but uh, I tried to play guitar many years ago. I bought a guitar and I tried to learn and I was so uncoordinated with the chords. I couldn't remember the chords. I would, I would learn a chord and then when it came to actually playing it on the guitar, I couldn't like get the get the a handle on, you know, switching from one chord to another. So I gave up on guitar. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful um, instrument, and I have a lot of friends that play guitar, but I do not play guitar. I learned piano when I was a kid, so that was fun. So yeah, you can just go ahead and like file the ends. I think that's gonna be the easiest, I'm not gonna like go nuts with it right now, but that's the easiest thing to do, I think would be just to file these ends. Uh, you don't have to like flatten it as such, but, we can poke the hole and then we can just um, tap it a little bit so it stays flat. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sasha. I made a chain from a guitar string and copper recycled pipe. That sounds amazing. Cool, and tie-dye done. Nice shape, but a little in the small side for a pick. Yeah, so this isn't for an actual pick. This is to use as a mini guitar pick on a uh, charm bracelet. So that's the idea behind this. I do want it smaller than an actual pick. And I just have to make sure that this gets somewhat centered. It's kind of hard to eyeball it. So we're going to just poke the hole with the metal punch. And then here, we would just tap it. So I don't know if I... Just watch your ears, guys, because I'm going to tap this. So we tap it there. Watch your ears. And then I'm going to try it with this one to see the difference. So again, cover your ears up. This might be better. There we go. We'll just see what we can do with that. And then this side. Anyways, that's the idea. So there we go. Yeah. So because the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make some things with these guitar strings from my friend Caleb. And so we're just trying to organize some things right now. So I would love to do a bunch of these and put them on the on the charm bracelet, but just for the sake of, you know, getting it all done on the live stream, I'm just going to do one. But I do like this one and it's certainly much better than the one I made out of plastic that didn't really work and now I'm not sure where I put it. So, let me just see where I put the plastic one. There goes my metal block. And um Oh, here. So here's the plastic one that didn't quite work. It got completely like messed up, but we I don't know if we can still trim it. We might still be able to trim it. So let's see what we can do. You can shrink them on an iron. Ooh, okay, that's a good idea. Shrink them on an iron or with a hair dryer. That might be better because the oven's pretty hardcore. So so maybe shrinking it, shrinking this plastic with an iron or a hair dryer would be better. So now I'm just gonna bring this around. So what's happened is this plastic, even though it's not the proper number six, 
It has thickened up a bit, which is interesting. So I would definitely try this if I can get a black or a dark colored number six plastic, that would be fine. And I mean, this one's a little wobbly, but it's kind of funky and it sort of looks like a guitar pick, but the idea is there. So this would be like to go on a bracelet. So I'll definitely use it. I actually like it. It's kind of a little bit, I don't know if you could see, it's a little wavy, but it's really, really cool. So I think I'm definitely gonna use these on the bracelet. And then now for the bracelet, what I wanted to do is, I just did a little sketch, so we're gonna see. Yeah, I also had an idea to put like an actual guitar in the middle of the bracelet too. So that's another possibility. So we can maybe do something like that. And then just to do like a charm type bracelet. So if we just take one of these strings, maybe I'll leave the big one out for now. Although I could do a mix of both of them. Like what if we just got both of them? Okay. And uh, the last time we did the guitar string ones, I'm going to actually get some heavier duty cutters because they are steel, so they're quite hard. And the last time we did guitar string ones, I think it was Joan that had a really good idea to strip the guitar string, to like to remove some of this spring part. So let me see what I can do with that. I'm just gonna clear out some of the stuff that's in the screen here. Bring this one over. And I am going to just take the end of this string, if I can get it out. If not, I'll just clip it see what I can do. Let's try to get that one out. Mm, you know what, I'm just gonna clip it. So let's just do this. Trim a real guitar pick. Now that's a brilliant idea. I didn't even think about that. Just take a real guitar pick and trim it. Um, you could do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. And the heat gun for, for um, shrinking, that's a great idea too. Yeah, I do have a heat gun because I use it for um, encaustic, which I love doing encaustic. Uh, so here we're going to just take a little bit of this off. So this was on one of the previous live streams. I think that was Joan's idea that uh, that uh, suggested that. So if you strip it back, you see the metal underneath. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to cut that bit off. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then what if we did the same with this smaller one. Let's see what we can do with the smaller one. Uh, yeah, that's the trouble. Like if you don't want to ruin your guitar picks, uh, you wouldn't want to do that. But if you really want to make a nice piece of jewelry, but you want a guitar pick that's smaller, that might be an idea. So there we go. We're going to do this. And yeah, be careful if you do this at home, guys, because some of the strings can be a bit rusty. I get a tetanus shot every 10 years. Um, to make sure that if I do poke myself with with metal that uh, it doesn't it doesn't hurt me so uh, definitely keep that in mind if you are um, if you're making stuff and uh, you don't want to hurt yourself so now what I think I'm going to do is just bend these I want to make sure there's enough to do uh, to do the bracelet I'm going to try something I'm just going to take these and bend them just let me see if I have my black pliers, if I can find them. Yeah, here they are. So we're just gonna take this one and bring this one around. Okay, I don't know if I could, I had a couple ideas for this. I was gonna just put them in a spring end. I'm gonna see if that's going to work. So I'm gonna do this. You can make your own spring end too, but I'm gonna try this, cause this is what I had originally thought was just bend these in half, okay. Maybe I should bend them one at a time though. Okay, I'm gonna just bend these in half one at a time. There, uh, I think it's already snapped a little bit, but that's okay, so we're gonna bend that and that one. Okay, so those are like the two ends, but then I wanna get a spring end. So let me just get that. This is getting all tangled up in my stuff. Okay, there we go. So let me just get a spring end. I have all my findings here beside me and I would like to go for the gold color if I can find it and if not I'll just go for silver so I just have to find it because I have all my all my findings let's see 
I do have this bag. I think this is all silver and gold. I'm gonna see what I have in here because I have all kinds of like springs and stuff, but I don't know if I have the right kind. Oh, uh, that's not the right bag. So I should keep looking. Oh, here we go. Okay, so here's a bag of my gold findings. And I'll see if, see if I have a spring end in here that I can use for that. Like I have these big springs, but those are a little too big. Uh, what I want is something a little bit smaller. Oh, I have these ones too. So I think that's what it's gonna be. Although that's not exactly what I was looking for. I have quite a few of these. There we go. So let me just see what I can do with those. And in here, yeah, these are just regular springs. Yeah, none of them have loops on the end, but I do have some other ones somewhere that have loops on the end. But what I'm going to do is just take these and just turn them so they have a little loop on the end. So here's, I could have done them silver too. I don't know if it matters. So here's the spring ends. And then what I wanna do with that is just open them up a little bit. Sorry, there's all this mess over here. I'm trying to keep this area a little bit clear. So move some of this stuff. So now we're just gonna take this one, open it up a little bit. I just use my cutters without like cutting through the metal. It's just a way to split these a bit. So there's the little spring end. Let's see if it's gonna work. So if we take these two ends, they might not fit in there. Oh, they, they also might, so let's see. So let's just push this one in a little bit. Uh, okay, oh, I'm missing something. Um, Matt's crazy heart would go for this. Yeah, actually Matt plays guitar, doesn't he? So uh, yeah, maybe he can, maybe Matt can send me some guitar strings. That would be awesome. That would be super fun. I mean, I have a lot of musicians here that say, that give them to me, but wouldn't that be fun to do something with Matt's strings? So there we go. So we've got that. We're going to just push those ends in the spring end. I think that's gonna be solid enough. Hopefully I left made these long enough. And then what you're going to do is we are going to, yeah, sometimes I make my own spring ends. Um, you really need to use a thicker, like a heavier duty wire, like steel or something like that, or brass it would be good too. So these, I like to use these ready-made ones. They work well. So just give it a little pinch. And that's also going to um, grab into, because these guitar strings have a coil on them, that's actually going to pinch into the coil and hold it in place. So that's super cool. So let's just go ahead and pinch this. I actually just ordered a bale making pliers uh, from, uh, I forget the brand, of bead something, beadsmith, I think. Uh, so I'm anxious to try those. I've never tried them before. So that's going to be fun. Uh, the string solder is also great. Cool. Nice. Okay. So here's like these ones here, but I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with them. I guess I could kind of braid them. What I'm going to do now is these are too long. So I'm going to trim that because that's way too long to work with. So we'll just trim actually not with those cutters. I'm going to trim them with the memory wire cutters because I don't want to ruin my cutters. There we go. So we're just going to trim those ones. Perfect. Uh, perfect. And Ruth is late again. No worries, Ruth. We're just really uh, playing around today with these guitar strings. So the gold doesn't match super well. I do have some brass ones that are good. And what we can do is we can try to braid them. And if that doesn't work, we can just do something else. So, so we have four here. So we're going to have to do maybe put like those ones like that. I'm going to see what we're going to do. So I want yeah, that one on the outside, those ones on the middle. So if we just go around, let's see if, how they look braided. And I can always pull it back if they don't look very good. So if we just bring that one in here and in here. Yeah, this actually might work. We're going to see how this works. Yeah, so we're just, two of them are together. Wait, are those the fat ones? No, they're, they're fine. Okay, so there we go. We're just going to bring these ones in. Uh, perfect. Nice. Genius. Well, this is fun, eh? I kind of like just experimenting with these. I never know, with these live streams, I never know 
what's going to happen. You know, sometimes things work, sometimes they don't work. Uh, the picks actually worked a little better than I thought they would. Trouble with this, it's going to be very stiff. So we're going to see, we're going to have to like form it around. So it's actually going to go around the wrist. And as for length, I think I have a pretty small wrist. So I think as long as I get it like seven inches long or something, it should be pretty good. So we're just gonna go like this, but I like the way the braid looks. It's kind of funky. I was gonna add beads, but I kind of like it like this. So I might add dangling beads if we make it into a charm bracelet. So we're gonna go here and just let me figure out what's gonna happen with the ends. So I'm just gonna get a ruler. Uh, let me find my ruler. Okay, here's my favorite ruler. I used to use this for sewing. I did a lot of sewing before. So that is about seven inches. So that should be good. You can always add an extender chain. And then now what I wanna do is wind one of these wires around to hold it in place. Otherwise, it's all gonna come undone. So if we take this, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Let's try to keep these over. Okay, and maybe I could even put that in between just to kind of, mm, maybe that's not a good idea. Let's just bring that one around here, wind it around. I might have to strip it before I wind it because the thing is, if you if you um, don't strip it, it's extra, it's really, really uh, stiff with the, with the spring on it. So let's try to strip it a little bit. And then, this one's already stripped a little bit. Let's just pull that one off a little and then we'll strip it right down so there's no there we go woo that went fast so we're going to strip it right down okay right down to the bottom and then we will wrap it around because right now it's uh, with the spring with the coil on the guitar string it's very hard to uh, wind it because it's it's just like too thick so we're going to remove this okay we'll just Pull this one back as much as we can. Okay, back, back, back. It's not like pulling off as well here, but we're gonna see, bring this one back, back, back. Okay, just pull this back as much as we can. And then let me clip it. So we're gonna clip that off and we could probably use this little string for something else after. And then what we wanna do is bring this one around. So we're just gonna take this, bring it around, but I'm gonna hold it with my pliers. Otherwise it's gonna be really hard. I have six step bail makers. Yes, that's exactly what I bought. So we're gonna see how they work. Cause I usually when I need a bail that's like sort of like several wires wide, I usually just use a nail. I just usually like twist my wire around a nail, but I like the idea of having the bail pliers. I think that's a good idea. So I've just twisted that around to hold it in place a little bit. Careful with these wires, they're very springy. And we're just going to cut, cut that one. So probably the, this wire I can cut with my regular pliers. The inside wire is pretty thin. So maybe wind the outside coil, outside coil wire. It seems easier to maneuver. Mm, is that what you mean? I'm not, oh, the, oh, I see what you mean. I should have wound this one around. Yeah, oh, smart. That would be much better. Okay, so next time, like if you guys do it, wind this coil around, uh, like Don said, I think that's a better idea. So now we've got that. See, it got a little bit loose at the end because I got a little towards, and it probably got a little bit long too. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, oh gosh, uh, not too bad. It's like eight now. So actually, you know what we can do? We could try that. Uh, let me just pull that back. Okay, let me just pull it because it got a little bit long now. So let me see if I could get into here. Okay, let's just pull it back a little bit and see if we can get access to that. So I'm just gonna pull it back because it ended up being a little bit long. So if we're gonna go like that, and then I like, uh, I like uh, that idea of using the outside coil. So let me just see if I can do that. So we're just gonna, let's clip this one. Okay, clip that one. And then we're going to pull the coil Maybe I'll use the thicker coil wire, like 
like that down here. Yeah, I like that idea. So we're gonna take that one, pull it down a little bit more. Okay, pull it. And then this, I wanna make sure that I've done this braid tight enough. So let's remove, let's just pull that one back a little bit. I'm gonna pull this back a little bit more and then we'll have an idea of the good, actually that's even a double a good idea because we can break, pull it back to the right length of the bracelet. So that's actually really brilliant. So that's good. I think that's fine. So now we're going to have that, but now we wanna make sure we're braided enough. So let's go back, bring it around here. Uh, this one's got a little bit bendy, so let's just straighten that one out a little bit. Okay, we'll just straighten one, that one a little bit more like that. And then I'm actually gonna trim it a little bit because it's a little bit big. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, love you, you're always good as far, but yay, thank you. And then we're gonna cut that, perfect. And William, handy with wire, yes, very handy with wire. So there we go. So now let's tighten this one up a little bit. Let's keep going with our braid because it got a little bit mixed up. So now, um, of course, I'm, my braid is upside down now, maybe that way. So that way, yeah, there we go. So we're gonna keep going with our braid and go back to where we wanna finish it off. So just keep doing the braid, keep doing it, keeping it relatively tight. And we wanna get to where this uh, part is, where, where the coil, the outside coil wire is. So let's just go around here. So Don had that great idea to do that just use the outside coil wire. So we're gonna see how that's gonna work. So we're just gonna go in here and then in here. Thank goodness I had my tetanus shot because this one, this metal is in a little bit rough shape, but it's all good. So now we're going to take this wire here and hopefully these are tight, tightened up enough. Let's bring this one through here and bring, bring that one right through there. I think I poked myself, okay, that's, not good, but that's okay. We'll just be careful. If I need a Band-Aid, I will go get one. And then we're going to wrap this one around. So let's just use this one, wrap it around. I think that's a better idea. So we're gonna get that around and around. Oh yeah, it's bleeding. Okay, I'll get I'll get Miriam to give, get me a, a Band-Aid. So we'll go around and around and around. Perfect, and I'm gonna just bring that around quite a few times. Perfect, and now we are going to, yeah, they're brutal for sure. Miriam, yeah. can you get me a Band-Aid, please? Thank you, there we go. So we're gonna just cut that, and then so that's a good length there, that's perfect. And now we're gonna clip the ends and put on the springs. So let's do that. I'm just going to get the other spring and open it up a little bit. So here's the other spring. And now we're just gonna open up the end. So I'm just gonna take this and open the end and then just open it up a little bit. So we're just gonna open that a little bit. Perfect. Center it as well as we can. That one didn't center too well. It's not too bad though. We're just gonna bring that one around. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Mustafa. I just abandoned. I just pulled oh, my. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. So there we go. So we've got that one. I'm just going to get another spring because that one didn't open up as well as I thought. So I'll just get another spring for the end. So we've got the spring there. And Jasmine Love from Bangladesh. Awesome. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. What time is it over there? It's like nine hours difference or eight eight hours difference, I think. So there we go. And I am just going to put a Band-Aid on my finger. And then we are going to keep going. This is live TV at its finest. So there we go. And this is why you're very, you have to be very careful with these guitar strings. I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to... There we go, perfect. Okay, so now let's keep going with this. So we're gonna take this end and, oh, you're on low battery. Okay, no worries, yeah. So just, uh, 
switch phones if you have to. So now, bleeding for your passion, yes. Oh my goodness, it's ridiculous. I did not expect that. Sometimes when you're too careful, you can get injuries, and I think that's the problem. And, oh, Mustafa's back, awesome. So now we have that part done there, and now we have to trim these ends to, uh, to uh, put the, the spring end on. So now what we wanna do is trim each one, each wire, so we're just gonna take these and trim them. So we're just gonna trim that one, whoops, and trim that one, and trim this one, and then that one. So it's a little awkward to get into those like bits, but that's okay. So we're just gonna trim all those ends. They are a little sharp, but we're gonna put them inside the spring so it should be fine. So we're gonna just do that. We're gonna put them inside there. Hopefully the spring, mm, I'm not sure if the spring is maybe going to be too small now, but maybe if I try to squish them a little bit, we can try that. Okay, we'll try to squish them a little bit and just put that in there. Might or might not work. Okay, I might have to get a bigger spring or I'm gonna see if I squish it enough, it might work or I might have to make my own spring. So, which I could do too. So let's just try that. Yeah, that's not really working. So let's get a wire and make our own spring. So I have some 18 gauge wire. So we're going to do that. We'll try the 18 gauge wire and we can make a spring or we could just go ahead and put the spring on here. So like this, so let's just go ahead so I don't mess up the size. Let's just go ahead and make our own little spring on there. Okay, and keep in mind you can put your own kind of end cap on there, would be good. So we're just gonna do that, hold that in place, bring that one around and make sure you finish it off underneath the um, underneath the uh, the little knot thing there. So there we go. You have to sacrifice. Yeah, that's it. Oh my goodness. So there we go. So you get the idea though. Like this, these live streams are just so you guys can like figure out, you know, ways you can do things and you could definitely put your own spin on it. So now if you have another kind of end cap too, you can use your own kind of end cap. That's not a problem at all. And I'm just trying to find, I cannot find my round pliers again, but I'll just use these ones, which are my red, smaller round pliers. So we're just gonna go in here and make a loop to give, just to give you an idea of the spring end. So it's not perfect, but it just gives you an idea. So we'll clip that and then bring this one in here and just kind of close it up. So yeah, the, it's not ideal this spring end, but it gives you an idea of uh, what to do. So now we've got that, which is the bracelet, but we have to see if we can put it around a round form to make it more curved, because otherwise it's not gonna sit properly on your arm. So we're gonna take this and we'll just wind it around and see if we can get it to form. Might, might or might not work. I think we have to like really, we're gonna have to really push it more than that. So if we're gonna go around here, we can just kind of, if we go like this, this is gonna, it's going to form it a little bit better. Yeah, because otherwise it's just not going to... Sometimes when you could put a wire around a round form, it naturally takes its shape. But because these are so springy, you have to really push with your thumb. But that works. That's kind of cool. I like it. And so now the idea would be to you put a clasp and then also to... Um, to somehow get these to dangle down because these are like the little, oh, this looks really bad on the back, this one. But that's just to give you an idea of this is, was a guitar pick that maybe we can try to make another time. Uh, can you make necklace tutorials? I have a lot of necklace tutorials actually on my channel. Tetanus is something that you can get when you uh, get, um, it's like from rusty metal. It's a kind of it's not like a disease, but it's like a bacteria, I guess, that comes from the rusty metal. Uh, so that's why if you work with jewelry, you should always get a tetanus shot uh, so that you don't, um, so you don't have any problems with that. So uh, yeah, you usually get one every 10 years. 
just to be safe, you know, and I guess, you know, if ever like you cut yourself and stuff and have to go in for stitches, usually they'll give you a tetanus shot. Like when I cut myself after the avocado incident last year, I had to get a shot. So I'm just trying to find my hooks and my clasps because I had them for putting together these, the bracelet, but I, Offhand, I'm just having trouble finding my clasp. So if I can't find one, I'll just make one out of wire because right now I can't find, I have that, which is like a one of those type of clasps, but I'm not sure I like that one. So let me try to find a different clasp. And if I can't find one, I will just make one. So I'm gonna see what I can find. Yeah, mostly I have a lot of springs and stuff. Oh, here's, this isn't great, but I have some clasps in here I might be able to use. Uh, let's see what I got. Da, da, da. I have some jump rings if I need jump rings. And I have a little, well, let's see, it's a really big clasp. It's a little too big, but maybe it's gonna be better than nothing. So that's that one, or I could just make one out of wire. Yeah, I don't see any other ones. So, I don't like that one. So we're gonna put that one there. Uh, how many honky tonks those guitar strings have been in? Yes, yeah, well these, uh, Kayla plays a lot of uh, gigs in Montreal. So definitely these guitar strings have been to a lot of cool places, that's for sure. So we can get some jump rings to put the little uh, pick on there. And maybe we should put some, we could even put some beads or something, but I think for now I'm going to do that. That's that's a little a little big, that class, but I think I'll just use it because I can't find any others, or you can make your own hooks. So let's just take this, and I need another pair of flat pliers. So I will go get the other flat pliers and open this one up. Okay, so... Lockjaw, I've never heard that expression. Okay, I actually don't even really know what it is. It's just, I know you can get it. So let's just open this one up and we're going to put the clasp and then we'll just stick it on there. So now we have the clasp on there. Let's just close that one up. This, these jump rings are really, really stiff. So I need two pliers for that. Okay, and then that would just either go into there or you could put like a little, you could put um, a jump ring on there as well. So we'll just put like that for now. And then for this, uh, do you have tutorials to your wire class? I do have some tutorials on how to make wire class on, and we did a 10 day wire bracelet making challenge. And we made some, um, some of the bracelets had DIY clasps on them. So you could definitely check that out. There is a search bar on my channel and you can, if you're looking for any specific tutorials, you can just look them up with the search bar. So if we take this one, I think that's gonna, maybe we, this is gonna be a little, might work. It's gonna fly around a little bit, but you could also like hook this into one of these loops. We can try that. We can try to hook this into one of the one of the loops here. I don't know how well it's gonna sit. That's the only thing, but we can try it. Okay, so if we just open that one up a little bit. Okay, we're just gonna, you could even maybe go in with your round pliers. Get in there and see if we can open the space a little bit and then try to hook that one in there. I don't know if this is going to sit properly, but we can try it. And that way it won't like wander all over the all over the bracelet. So okay. So there we go. We're let's just put oh this is might not this might not fit in there because it's gonna be let's get a thinner jump ring. So let's get a thinner jump ring and put that one on there. And yeah, this conversation is getting a little bit gruesome, but uh, let's just focus on the jewelry now. So we're going to stick this one on here and hang that on there and close this one up. So perfect. We're going to close that one up and see it's going to, it's actually really cool. I like the way it looks. So there's our little 
a charm bracelet and you can add more along there. You could add more than one charm. I think I'm just gonna put the one for now, but what I might do is after the live stream, I'll make more guitar picks and I'm gonna dangle them around uh, to make the bracelet. So I think that's a really, really cool idea. I like that one a lot. So now, uh, let me just go back to my sketchbook. I'm also gonna see what time it is. It's already two o'clock, guys, so I don't think we're gonna have much time to do anything else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop there after the live stream, I'm going to continue and do more pics. I'm going to post a picture in the uh, Discord group. And you guys can hop over to Discord after this. And um, and you can uh, share pictures of your work and stuff too. So there is the, the guitar pick. The mini guitar pick on the uh, bracelet. And I think I would love to make some little mini metal guitar picks for... Um, for earrings and stuff too. I think that would be really cool. So let me flip my screen. I'm going to flip it around. There we go. Perfect. So guys, thanks so much for hopping on the live stream. Uh, we're cutting it a little bit short today, but that's okay. I'm going to continue and finish the bracelet. And what I'll do is I'll post pictures on Discord. And uh, and that's it. I Look out for the uh, video. I'm going to put together those other fake barbed wires and add some uh, fairy lights. That was Peggy's idea. So that's coming up soon. And uh, yeah, so I wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for hopping on. Thanks for your great suggestions. And uh, we'll see you on Discord. We'll see you in the Wiremakers Club on Facebook. And have an amazing, amazing day. And thanks Mustafa always for helping uh, moderating the, the chat. I really appreciate it. So bye guys, we'll see you soon.